Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of That Guy Outdoors. Today, I don't have an agenda. I'm just out here on the river to have a little bit of fun. I got a few different things I'd like to try, as usual. But for the most part, we're just going to go see what we see, and we're going to do what we do, and we're going to have fun along the way. So go along with me, and we'll see what we get into. It's really beautiful out on the river today. The water's cleared up, and... Uh, I think we're going to do some good today. I'm going to start off my night with a Nico Helgramite. And I've got that Helgramite Nico rigged with a uh, Z-Man uh, nail weight in the head of it. And uh, it's just how we're going to start off. I wouldn't mind catching something smaller today. You know what I tell you guys. 90% of the fish reside in 10% of the water. We gotta find that 10% so we can have some fun tonight. I don't know if I'm getting that Helgramite back. I think that's a deep little shoot right there. Got it. I see little fish jumping right over here like there's something chasing them around. Nothing's chasing the Helgramite. I can see it under there. It's got good action. Oop. There we go. Someone's on it. I think that's a large mouth. Hey buddy. That, my friends, is a largemouth bass in a rocky river. Fat little guy. Look at how fat he is there. Good for him. Nothing in the mouth. Alright. One last look at this pretty fat little largey here. I put him right back in. All right. Someone wants it rock bass, maybe? Yeah, it's a little rock bass. A little rock bass. There we go. So, same hole, this time. Nice little smallie. Okay, okay. Let me get you, get you squared away here, kid. Whoa, 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 man. Don't hurt yourself. Look at that fat little smallie right there, huh? Ah. Put the little smallie back for next time. See you, pal. I have a feeling going to be somewhere right along this bank right here. We're probably going to find one. Oh, did you see that? That little fish was like, oh, I want that. I was like, man, nah, I'm bored. Probably could have just kept it in there and let it be. Here we go. I don't know. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Oh, these little smallies are so much fun, man. I don't feel like playing that I need to get you off my line game. Yeah, take it down a notch. Oh! Okay, 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 okay. I'm the type of guy to put you back, man. Alright, no pictures for that one. Woo! There it goes. Right down back to the briny deep. Alright. I wonder what else we can get into here. I love wading when it's clear like this. Boy, this is just... This is so beautiful and serene and peaceful. Okay, everybody. I don't know if you can see. We've got a run right... Or a kind of a riffly little spot with a lot of fast current going right here. Right over there is bubbles. 
the bubbles are going backwards. So we're going to sneak up here and see if there's anybody hanging out where the bubbles are going backwards. No guarantees, but you never know. First cast, bubbles going backwards. <laughs> oh man, I told you guys. I mean, this ain't a monster fish. This is, this is micro fishing right here. Look at that. First cast where the bubbles are going backwards on the Nico Helgramite. Oh, well, that wasn't graceful. It'll work. Nico Helgramite. So one thing I learned here uh, this past winter was I steelhead fished up by Cleveland. And um, it's all about the, the natural presentation of the bait. It has to look like it's flowing downstream all on its own. You can't have any power. It has to look like it's totally natural. So that's why they call it doing a drift. So you cast your, your bait upstream. You just let it drift down through that place where you think the fish are at. So some of this uh, small river fishing for smallmouth is the same thing. You find a place you think is going to hold fish, cast your lure out, and just let that current take that bait real natural. You have to be careful because sometimes your bait, your lure is too heavy and it doesn't look natural. But for the most part, you just cast it up in there, just let it do its thing, bounce along the bottom. The fish that are in there see that coming. That's why they're there. As long as you can make your bait look natural, these fish are in there waiting for you to feed them. Alright, I see bubbles going backwards. I wasn't exactly stealthy moving up in here, but... Right there. <laughs> First cast. Bubbles moving backwards. Uh, micro fishing at its best, man. Look at that. Oh, that's pretty spectacular right there. Okay, buddy. There you go. Bubbles moving backwards. I'm going to put them right back down in there. You go right back down in his hole. Here we go. Oh, geez. There we go. Okay. I didn't even know that one was on. Oh, man. It's not even, it's not a big one. It's big, it's big enough. It's fun size. All right. All right. Biggest one of the night. Look at that. It's a slow rolling Helgramite. Right down the chute. These guys can see these bubbles coming right down through here. I just let that current take it real natural like. Look at how pretty that fish is. All right, everybody, that last fish was pretty awesome, but the light's getting a little low. So it's time to start heading back to the deep hole, see if we can't hit some top water. All right, guys, almost there. A couple more turns, a couple more ripples, and we're going to get to where we're going to be. And where we're going to be is where we're trying to go. And where we're trying to go is where the big smallies are at, so hang in there. All right. 
That was a heck of a walk. I've worked up a heck of a sweat. Still have a hundred yards more to go. See if we can't trick a big old smallie into pound in the bone covered whopper plopper. There we go. Cask number two. Not a monster, but definitely we're gonna take the whopper plopper fish all the time. All right, okay, before you hurt yourself, buddy, come on up here. Oop. All right. All right, folks, I'm gonna go ahead and get a good, ooh, boy, that one's fat. Tell you what, I don't know. What's up with these fish? They're all the same size, which leads me to believe the big ones are somewhere else. One more hole way up there. We'll be sad if we don't hit it, so hang in there and see if we can't get up there before it gets too dark. I wonder if I could get one out of this hole here. There goes one there. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Whoa, this is maybe the best one of the day, feels like. All right, okay. My buddy, slow down. Don't hurt yourself, please. I'm not here to hurt you. I'm here to take this whopper plopper off your body. All right. That's kind of exciting. That side right along there is pretty deep. And then there's a run right up the middle there, up in there. All right, here we go. That's the kind of cast it takes to catch one right there. Oh, that's the one right there. Been a monster, but I told you that's the kind of catch cast it takes to pull these little fellers out. All right, buddy, come up here. Well, there it goes. That was an easy release. There we go, right there. That's the head of that. That trot right there I was telling you guys about. <laughs> I don't know. This fish just swimming right to me. Oh, now it knows I'm here. All right, buddy. Another pretty little river smally. There you go, pal. Right back at it. So, top water time in the smally waters. There we go. Oh, man. Yeah. This is a good fish right here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, man. This is a good fish right here. Boy, that's a beautiful bronze smallmouth bass. That's a beautiful way to end the night right there. Nothing in the throat. Get a good old release on this guy.
And that, my friends, is how it's done. I had a lot of fun tonight. I hope you did too. I'm going to make my way downstream back to where my vehicle's at. And I'm going to go home and plop my butt on the couch and sit with my beagle for the rest of the night watching my favorite YouTube shows. So at this point, I'd like to thank you for watching my YouTube video. And we'll see you next time.